Good evening and welcome to News 20 at 5. I'm Tawanda Robinson. First in local news, Tallahassee City Commission named Ricardo Fernandez as the new city manager. The commission voted to appoint Fernandez last Wednesday. Fernandez was appointed as the new city manager as current city manager. Anita Thompson prepares to step down. Fernandez will be in charge of overseeing the city of Tallahassee's budget and operations. He officially takes the role as city manager on November 21st. The city of Tallahassee is not letting city manager Thompson leave without a celebration. A community event celebrating city manager Anita Thompson is scheduled for November 22nd at 6.30 p.m. at Bethel AME Church. The second harvest in Tallahassee had no choice but to temporarily cut their senior grocery program due to a lack of finances. But the harvest is expected to come back sooner than expected thanks to community donations. Multimedia journalist Janelle Floyd has more on the story. The second harvest, Senior Grocery Program, services more than 635 seniors across Tallahassee. So, when the nonprofit organization AARP heard the program would be temporarily cut, they had to step in. Sure. When we saw the news break that 635 seniors would be without meals for the rest of the year, we found that it was an extremely important part of our mission to ensure that all seniors in Florida, and especially here in the Big Bend area, can have access to meals. And as a part of our national campaign to help end hunger, this is where we saw it fit to help here locally as well. The $12,000 donation by AARP would help seniors like Mary Wiggins, who has been on the program for a year, continue yeah, to get assistance. I <laughs> a little excited and um, I told my daughter, I said, I think we're gonna have, you know, have it back. And she said, good, good. Mm -hmm. It's a help, mm -hmm. you know, and yeah. I enjoy getting it. Definitely. Thanks to donations from the community like AARP, the Senior Harvest Senior Grocery Program will be up and running October the 1st. My name is Janelle Floyd and you're watching News 20 at 5. If you want to know more about the Second Harvest Senior Feeding Program, visit FightingHunger.org. Florida A&M University continues to adjust their administration, naming Trachie L. Taylor as the new Dean of College for Education. Taylor currently serves as Dean and Professor of Education at Bowie State University. FAMU selected Taylor after a national search in partnership with Greenwood Asher and Associates Incorporated. Taylor will begin his post as Dean in January of 2016. Florida Senators voted 7-0 on the proposed Florida Kid Care Bill, which gives illegal immigrants access to medical insurance. Instead of waiting a five-year period, this bill will give child immigrants living in the United States immediate access to insurance. Despite the large number of illegal immigrants in the United States, today, reporters say the bill will only cover those who are documented as residents. New rates for the tuition program have been set by the Florida College Prepaid College Board. Multimedia journalist Janelle Floyd tells us more. The Florida Prepaid Program recently opened its enrollment. The program allows families to start saving for college or university tuition as early as a child is born. Jalen Turo, Florida A&M University senior, has been on the program since she was two years old. Because my mom and my dad both value education, and honestly, they really wanted me to be at a place where I could be stable enough to go to college if I decided to as I got older. It was kind of like a safety net, if that makes sense. The only requirement is for the child or child's guardian to be a Florida resident. The money saved can be used for tuition or fees at one of Florida's 12 state universities and 28 colleges. Last year, more than 40,000 families signed up for the Florida prepaid program. Shannon Colvecchio, prepaid spokeswoman, further discusses the benefits of the program. Well, we know the research tells us that college savings makes a huge impact on whether a student actually will go from high school to college, and it also impacts their graduation rate. Um, if they know they have college savings, it just sort of sets that expectation from an early age that college is where they're going to go. And then, of course, if they have those savings, they have less pressure to um, you know, work a job and have to juggle that during school. The enrollment period will be open through February 2016. Janelle Floyd for News 20 at 5. 
For more information on the Florida Prepaid College Tuition Program, visit www.myfloridaprepaid.com. In other news, Florida state officials say Florida is on pace for a $1 billion surplus next year. Multimedia journalist Shalanka Cunningham has more on the story. Although economists slightly lowered their forecast of tax dollars flowing into the state, lawmakers are still on track to have at least a $1 billion surplus for the next budget. Members of the Revenue Estimating Conference lowered their outlook due to changes in revenue such as real estate taxes and highway safety fees. Nathaniel Johnson, an economic expert and professor at Florida A&M University, says a surplus will be very beneficial. But when we talk about a budget surplus, we're talking about in terms, uh, as they say, in terms of the state of Florida, for example. You simply mean that more tax revenues are coming in from uh, uh, sales tax revenues are coming in to the state government than the government actually spends, uh, have allocated to spend. So what happens is the state of Florida ends up with a surplus for that particular fiscal year. And the state of Florida, what we generally have is what we have a, what we call a, a sales tax. And as the economy expands, what we find is that consumers are buying more goods and that means more tax revenues are coming into the state. And when the state, when that happens, then it's good for both the state and the economy. The next forecast is expected to be made in December, and those numbers will be used in drawing up the governor's proposed budget. The conference will meet again in March during the legislative regular session. For News 20 at 5, I'm Shlinka Cunningham. For more information on the Florida surplus, visit the Office of Economic and Demographic Research website at edr.state.fl.us. Coming up on News 20 at 5, Amazon founder unveils Florida as base of commercial space program. Stay tuned, you're watching News 20 at 5. Role models, pay setters, and young professionals on a global scale. Choosing FAMU has helped me to discover the world. I've had the opportunity to help Americans deploy military families by educating their children in Spain, Italy, Germany, Switzerland, <laughs> France, Austria. So how many stamps do you have in your passport? A lot. For more information about Camp Adventure and our other programs, visit discoverfamu.com. There are heroes among us. They don't fly or bend steel or ride off into the sunset. They simply volunteer to look after someone else's health by providing comfort, lending a hand, or simply keeping us on track. Everyone's health needs a hero. Who will you look out for? Find out how you can participate in improving our health. Visit iParticipate.org. Sick and tired of hearing all these people talk about What's the deal with this pop life and when is it gonna fade out? The thing you got to realize what we're doing is not a trend. We got the gift of melody, we're gonna bring it till the end. Come on, it doesn't matter. I like car and drive when I wear around my neck. All that matters is to recognize that it's just about respect. It doesn't matter. Every day, our brave troops and their families stand up for us. For years, we've asked so much of so few. Now we have a chance to serve these heroes. To give time, offer comfort, or lend a hand. To ease the burden on a military family. Let's honor their service by volunteering ours. Welcome back to the News 20 at 5. I'm Tawanda Robinson. In Birmingham, Alabama, an 8-year-old has been charged with the murder of a 1-year-old. Kelsey Lewis suffered severe head trauma and organ damage after being beaten to death by an eight-year-old who wanted her to stop crying. The two minors were left home alone after their mother, Keetra Lewis, left for a night out at the club. Lewis is now facing manslaughter charges, while the eight-year-old boy has been charged with murder and is in custody of the State Department of Human Resources. College campuses across the nation have joined in support of the fight for equality with students at the University of Missouri. The university has experienced a multitude of racial threats from university stakeholders, with the president stepping down after admitting to not doing enough to end racial issues on the school's campus. 
African-American students have participated in protests, hunger strikes, and the football team even refused to play. The University of Missouri has recently named Michael Middleton as the new interim president in hopes of bringing calmness to the students and order back to the university's campus. Paris has experienced a series of carnage after terror attacks took place across the French capital, leaving at least 129 dead and more injured. President Francis Hollandale of France described Syria as the biggest factory of terrorists the world has ever known. France said that airstrikes it launched on Sunday night against Islamic State, strongholds in Syria would be sure to continue. In a news conference, Amazon founder Jeff Bezos announced that he will be shipping his Blue Origin-based company to the state of Florida. The company names Cape Carnival as its new home. Bezos said he plans to send up satellites, then space tours. Bezos predicts that the first launch will take place by the end of the decade. Coming up on News 20 at 5, an update in sports. Florida a and University basketball team comes up short in its second game of the season, and UFC fighter Ronda Rousey is defeated for the first time in her career. Your source for stories, photos, videos, and everything related to Rattler sports teams right on your mobile device. Download it for free now. The FAMU Strike app. The College of Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Sciences evolved from one student in 1951 to more than 1,000 today. It is one of the largest colleges of pharmacy in the country and the nation's top producer of African-American pharmacists. The college has expanded its operations from the main campus in Tallahassee to Davie, Jacksonville, Tampa, and most recently, Crestview, Florida in 2011. The faculty prepares students for leading roles in the practice of pharmacy, research, and public health. They have developed patents that address the treatment of AIDS, cancer, and many other diseases that disproportionately impact African Americans. This renowned program is the only college of pharmacy that has an Institute of Public Health fully accredited by the Council of Education for Public Health. It also offers a new master's degree program online and the Master of Pharmacy and Doctor of Pharmacy degrees through its on-campus offerings. I am Dr. Michael Thompson, Dean of the College of Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Sciences, where we believe in academic excellence, research superiority, and community service. Great things are happening to FAMU every day. Welcome back to News 20 at 5. I'm Toronto Robinson with your sports. The Florida A&M University's men's basketball team dropped its second game of the season, falling 81-51 to, to Southern Illinois University. The Rattlers take on Thomas University tonight at 7 p.m. in the Al Lawson Multipurpose Center. For more information, visit thefamuathletics.com. Ronda Rousey was hospitalized after being stunned by Holly Holm in her fight Saturday night. Rousey experienced one of the biggest sports upsets this year in the first loss of her MMA career. Since the loss, Rousey responded to fans on Instagram saying that she would take time off but vowed to return. Coming up on News 20 at 5, I'll tell you how you and your family could begin your holiday fun. Stay tuned, you're watching News 20 at 5. And colorful wildflowers throughout Florida? Thanks to sales of the state wildflower license plate, many important projects have taken root. Planting along highways and within communities. Educating homeowners about the benefits of native landscaping nourishing the pollinators that make other crops possible, and researching new ways to protect Florida's unique environment. With the state wildflower license plate, you can help add beauty and color to Florida. Welcome back to News 20 at 5, I'm Twanda Robinson. The holiday season quickly approaches as Gadsden County offers adults and children some fun in creating art to decorate their Gadsden County Art Center. For more information on the event, visit www.gatsonarts.org. Well, that's all the news we have for you guys tonight. Don't forget to visit our website at FamilyTVNews.com for more stories and updates. Until next time, this is Family TV News 20 at 5. I'm Tawanda Robinson. Have a great night.